Hi, welcome back to my um, YouTube channel. I'm not fully operational just yet. I'm not walking all that well yet and not driving the car still, but I couldn't resist doing a short video today uh, because I've been uh, looking on YouTube a fair bit about the new Pentax 17 half frame, uh, still 35 millimeter camera, which takes um, 72 shots rather than 36 shots on a 36, 35 mil roll of film. And um, it's what they call a half frame camera. And they've been around for years. <coughs> and I was quite intrigued when I, uh, when I saw this and I've watched a few YouTube videos about it. And I thought that's so very similar to the original Ricoh auto half, half frame camera, 35 mil camera, which I bought a version of many years ago. And uh, to tell the truth, I was intrigued with it when I bought it. Probably, I don't know, more than 20 years ago now when I bought it. I've still got the original roll of film in the camera, which I haven't finished yet, so I can't show you any samples yet. But I thought I should get it out and have a little bit of a look at it and show people and just show you some of the similarities. You'll need to look up some of the other um, reviews of the new Pentax half frame camera. Um, but this was made by Ricoh. There it is, there, Ricoh half frame camera. It's a beautiful little camera. I'll just hold it up a bit closer there. See down on the, the top there, and on the side there. It's got a built-in um, light meter in here, a little selenium cell, and it's an automatic camera, except if you want to take flash, you can set it manually. And um, what actually happens when you, you've got to load the film in the camera, of course, and you've got a, a dial where you've got to set your ISO or ASA speed here, it goes up to a maximum of 200 ISO, the light meter, and goes down to about 12, I think it is, so ASA. So um, it's a, a bit tricky, as far if you want to use faster films, it's probably a bit tricky, but the idea is that you put this in, you set a distance on here, it's the zone focusing thing, you set a, a distance on, on that front one there, you might be able to see those distances there with the little symbols, and you set the distance, you look through it, and when you uh, look through the viewfinder, as the, as the new Pentax one is, you're in the vertical orientation looking that way. And if you want to take a horizontal shot, you've got to turn it that way. Now, if you've got enough light and uh, in here to take a photo, whereas I'm looking through the wrong spot. So I can look in through here, and, and I haven't got enough light to take a photo in here, so I would need to use a flash. If there's enough light, there's a little yellow square comes up in the middle of the viewfinder that says you're good to go. And so I've been just before I came in here, I took a few shots out in the, the street and uh, and I took a few shots on my um, uh, phone as well. Uh, still, so I know which one goes with which when I eventually get this film in. I've now taken, uh, there's a counter on the side here somewhere. Where's the counter? I can never find the counter. Here it is. I've now taken... Uh, 30, 30 shots, 32 shots on here, I think. So there's still a few more to go. I can take a maximum of seven, 72 because it's a 36 uh, film in there. I'm sure I've got a 200 ISO film in there at the moment. So the idea is if you want to take a, um, a horizontal shot, you take it that way. Vertical shot, you take it that way. They've been saying on this latest um, uh uh, YouTube videos all about the, the Pentax 17, that Pentax deliberately put it in that configuration so you could use it for um, Instagram and things like that. But Instagram didn't exist when this one came out, so they had the same configuration back then. And they actually had very similar lens. If you have a look, this is an f2.8, f25 millimeter lens. I'll tell you a little bit more about that lens in a minute. So, um, and there's not, this is not the only camera that's got that sort of orientation. If you look at the Pentax 645 autofocus cameras they bought out a, a few years ago, the automatic ones, they had the same thing. If you wanted to uh, take a horizontal shot, you had to turn it that way. Vertical shot, you took it that way. So it's not a new thing to do that. Anyway, it's a convenient selling point, I guess. For the, I, Incidentally, I wouldn't buy, personally, I wouldn't buy the new Pentax 17. It might be a nice little camera. But to me, it's very overpriced at the moment. If it comes down to about a quarter of the price, then, you, then I, they might have a buyer, <laughs> in my opinion. So anyway, that's just my thoughts on that. It's a lovely little looking little camera, but I've looked at a few reviews of this one on YouTube, and uh, probably the new one is 
a little bit sharper on some of the results I've seen with people. But anyway, the jury's out. So this is mainly for daylight photos. But if you want to take, if you, if I was to take a shot in here, and it'll, and, and the little yellow s square won't come in the viewfinder, means I've got to attach a flash. And there's a, a flash PC socket there, and it tells me here. Um, where did I find it about the flash? I'll just go here. I just. You can download the um, instruction manual for this from Paul Butkus on, on the internet as well and pay him a little bit of money for it. So, flash photography. I'll just read out what it says in the instruction manual. Under poor light condition, when you cannot see the yellow dot in the centre of the viewfinder frame, use flash or artificial lighting. The Ricoh Auto Half fully synchronises to M-class bulbs and electric flash equipment. I presume that means electronic flash equipment. In flash photography, the aperture number and the distance between camera and subject have close relevance to each other, relations to each other. These relations are presented, represented by the guide number, which one particular blah, 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 etc. So anyway, I don't think you need to worry too much about that. Just know that um, when, you, uh, when you engage the flash, put a flash in here, you have to work out some sort of a bracket. You've got a, a, a tripod socket just there, but it's alongside the flash sink socket. So you've got to work out some sort of way of attaching a flash at the same time. So anyway, it says here, um, or it says you can get a, a, a Ricoh flash unit VC605D for use by using an exclusive Ricoh, Ricoh bracket. Anyway, it says the shutter speed is automatically set at 130th of a second, sorry, at a 30th of a second uh then set the manual exposure setting dial at the number equal or near to the figure given by the number of the guide uh that's not going to tell us too much is it not all that helpful so anyway basically speaking what it's saying is that when you use the flash your shutter speed is a 30th of a second in all other instances the um shutter speed i think is 125th of a second and uh and then everything is done automatically now it says with this lens I'll just read out about this lens. <clears throat> the lens is of high resolving power with f2.8 and focal length of f of 25 millimeters and is of specifically specially designed uni focus. Any subject within the distance from 1.5 meters, five feet to infinity will be photographed sharply and clearly. Release the shutter, hold the camera firmly, not to let it hover, even a slight movement, have even a slight movement, then press the shutter release button gently as far as it stops. When you leave your finger from the release button, the film is advanced automatically by one frame with the sound zzzz. I'm gonna take a shot so you can hear. This has actually got a, a, a clockwork auto wind. So you've gotta watch it. If you, if, if you haven't keep this wound up all the time, you keep winding it up. It's a clockwork mechanism. If you haven't got it wound up, you've got to take a shot and it won't take it. So then you've gotta wind it on a bit further and take it. So this should be ready to go. And I'm going to take a shot here. It'll probably shoot it, but I should need use flash. But you listen to the motor. Can you see, see this? Oh, it won't let me do it because... Hang on, I'll go over here. Is it giving me a square here? What have I done now? Oh. There's a little lock button on the side there. I had it locked, so I couldn't release the shutter. There you go. It's good that you knew that. <laughs> So now I'm going to take a shot and we'll see what happens. You should be able to hear this now. Let's see what happens. Did you hear that? I'll do it again. I'm wasting a couple of shots, but, but just so you can hear it, I'll come up a bit closer. There you go. So that's what I can tell you about this so far. Um, as I said, and I've now taken, and that those couple won't come out, but I've now taken, I can never know where the thing is. I've now taken about... Um, 30, 33 shots, I think, something like that, on here. So there you go. That's a little Ricoh uh, auto half half frame camera. I think there's this other guy who I was looking at. He said that um, about the actual lens. He said the lens is um, 25 millimeter f 2.8, and it corresponds to 36 millimeter in uh, 35 millimeter full frame terms and the shutter 130th in manual mode for flash and 125th in automatic mode so it's an automatic camera and this little selenium cell 
goodness knows how old this camera is, but it's still working fine. It's still doing what it's supposed to do. So there you go. Um, later on, when I've taken that film in, I'm okay. I've got heaps of pho photos to take out, uh, exposed films to take out to the film lab. But when I'm well enough to drive the car again, I'm going to try and do that. And then I'll be able to show you some of the shots I've been taking today and since uh, and before a few years ago when I first bought the camera. And, and so we'll do a review, on, a follow up on this one when I've actually got the shots back. So thanks for watching. Like if you like, subscribe if you wish, and I'll see you next time.